Jinjin Travels. Jinjin in Beijing. Welcome to Beijing, the vibrant capital of China. Get ready to explore the bustling streets, visit historic landmarks, and learn about the rich culture and history of Beijing. From delicious food to fascinating festivals, this book is packed with fun and interesting facts. So, let's embark on an exciting adventure and discover what makes Beijing so special. Tiananmen Square is a large public square in the center of Beijing, China. It is a famous place where many important events have taken place, good and bad. It is also the site of the Tiananmen Gate, which is the entrance to the Forbidden City. Tiananmen Square is a popular tourist attraction and is a place where many people go to see the flag-raising ceremony every morning. I learned about the history of China and how important Tiananmen Square is to the country and its people. The Forbidden City was the palace of the emperors of China for 500 years. It is a huge complex of buildings, courtyards, and gardens. It was called the Forbidden City because common people were not allowed to enter without permission. Today, it is a museum open to visitors from all over the world. The Forbidden City is famous for its beautiful architecture and important role in Chinese history. I love learning about the history of the emperors and the different parts of the palace, such as the throne room, the imperial gardens, and the treasures inside. The Summer Palace in Beijing is a beautiful garden and palace complex. It was originally built as a simple garden and palace for a Qing Dynasty emperor in 1750. Over the centuries, it was destroyed, expanded and renovated by several emperors and became a favorite summer retreat for the imperial court. Today, it is a popular tourist destination, attracting millions of visitors each year to admire its stunning scenery rich history, and cultural heritage. The palace is surrounded by scenic lakes and hills and is known for its gorgeous buildings, bridges, and pavilions. I love learning about the history of the palace and exploring its many different gardens, temples, and halls. There are also fun activities to enjoy, such as boat rides on the lake and traditional Chinese games. The Temple of Heaven is a religious complex used by the emperors of China for annual ceremonies to pray for good harvest. It is one of the largest and most important temples in China. The temple is surrounded by beautiful gardens and is known for its magnificent architecture, including the Hall of Prayer for Good Harvests and the Circular Mound Altar. I could also see locals practicing traditional activities such as Tai Chi, playing musical instruments, and dancing. What a fascinating place to learn about Chinese culture and spirituality. The Great Wall of China is a massive defensive wall built to protect China from invaders. It is over 13,000 miles long and winds its way through mountains and valleys. The wall was built over many centuries, and parts of it date back over 2,000 years. It is considered one of the seven wonders of the world and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. I imagined what it was like to be a soldier stationed along the wall or to be a traveler passing through on the ancient Silk Road. I hiked along one section of the Great Wall to see the magnificent views from the top. The Beijing Zoo is one of the oldest zoos in China, founded in 1906 during the late Qing Dynasty and is home to many rare and exotic species such as giant pandas, lions, elephants, and monkeys. I had fun discovering new animals, watching shows and demonstrations, and learning about the habitats and behaviors of different species. The Beijing Aquarium is home to thousands of fish, sea mammals, reptiles, penguins, starfish, and more. I had a blast exploring the different habitats, from the tropical rainforest to the deep sea. I loved walking through a transparent tunnel and felt like I was surrounded by fish and sea creatures. Don't miss the huge tank filled with colorful tropical fish and live coral. The 798 Art District in Beijing is a special area where artists and creative people can make and show their art. It is like a big playground for artists, where they can be inspired and share their ideas with others. 
There are galleries, studios, and spaces where you can see paintings, sculptures, photographs, and other types of art. I played at the children's playground at Rutan Park, which has slides and swings that take you to the moon. Chinese cuisine is known for its unique flavor combinations, fresh ingredients, and cooking methods. Some popular dishes include Kung Pao chicken, Peking duck, hot pot, dumplings, and noodles. Whether you like spicy, savory, or sweet flavors, there's something for everyone in Chinese cuisine. The Beijing Planetarium is a place to learn all about space and the stars. It is a fun and educational center that teaches about the universe, the planets, and the stars. I watched shows in the planetarium's theater, where I could see the stars and planets projected on the ceiling, just like they would look in the sky. I explored the interactive exhibits and learned about space travel, black holes, and the history of space exploration. It is a great place to be inspired and learn about the wonders of space. Bye-bye Beijing!